Lowbrow system, highbrow interconnects. Hmm. Okay, Anthony in Pickering, Ontario, Canada. I'm brand new to audio and I don't have a ton of money to spend. I've put together a very modest system consisting of a Rotel integrated amp, a set of vintage 1980s energy reference 22 speakers, being fed by a vintage turntable and a Denon 2910 SACD player. Right now, I'm using low-end cables from Amazon and Monoprice. My question is, on a system as low-end as mine, is it worth spending a bunch of money on quality interconnect, speaker cables, and power cables? I've heard you mention many times that if one has a highly resolving system, then one will definitely hear the differences high-end cables provide. But at my modest level, is there a better use for my money? There's an awful lot of us out here in the audio world who love the hobby, but for whom the very notion of spending thousands of dollars on high-end components and interconnects are the stuff of dreams. How can we improve our sound without breaking the bank? Hmm. Isn't this cool? Um, this is a Hammond 3C organ that Gus brought in for the Octave Recording Studio. I don't think it's plugged in right now, well, and I can't play anyway, so you don't want to hear it. The most famous organ out there is the Hammond uh, B th the B3, uh, and it's all the all the great you know musicians use the B3, and this is a C3, and Gus said the only difference between a B3 and a C3 is that a C the C in a C3 stands for church. It's exact same mechanism as a B3, except this one is styled for a church, the other one's more for a bar. <laughs> Who knew? I think that's great. I learned all kinds of cool stuff from Gus. Okay. Well, no. I wouldn't spend money on interconnects. I, I know there are plenty of people, my friend Bill Lowe from AudioQuest in particular, who would disagree with me. But in my experience, you want to get your foundations right first. And I've said this a hundred times, and I'll say it a hundred times more, start with the loudspeakers and then move down the chain. So loudspeakers first, then you want to get a decent and a really good solid power amplifier and keep moving your way down. And that's the best, you start from the output and work your way back down. And I wouldn't mess with cables until you're ready to have that upgraded. And you don't have to spend a ton of money. You, you've already spent a lot. I mean, if you had given me that wad of money, I would have chosen different things for you that would sound better. And you would be a lot happier at this point. So my suggestion is, uh, I, you're in Canada, that's okay, call us. 800 PS audio. Just, I think it works in Canada, but if not, uh, I'm sure it does. Anyway, we have, look on our website. <laughs> it's a way to call us or email us. Uh, it's, it's okay, either way, and we'll walk you through that. We'll help you with that. Some, you just need a little bit of help, but no, I would not go with the fancy interconnects. I would certainly get my speakers upgraded. I mean, there's such great speakers out there for low cost. You can do really well you uh, just don't have to spend a lot of money. And I know there are a ton of audiophiles, wannabe audiophiles that just don't have the money. We love those people. You guys are family to us. You're part of the Hi5 family. Look, I started out selling a $59 phono preamplifier because I'm a cheapskate. I didn't have any money back then. And I, that's my roots. That's where I come from. I, you know, ate at Denny's and, and oftentimes got the gas turned off. And, and many of you know, you've read, you've read my memoirs. <laughs> you know what I did. So uh, yeah, I get it. I truly get it. And, and you don't have to do that. Call us. Um, I mean, you could trade all this to, oh, you're in Canada. Well, <sighs> if you weren't in Canada, you could trade all of that in and upgrade so easily. Uh, but anyway, We'll get there. Call us in any case. All of that's free. We're happy to help. You don't have to buy our stuff. Call us. We're here for you. We're your family. Okay, thanks. 
I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, cool. See ya. Thank you.